Thanks, Monsi, and good morning. It's uh, Dr. Rajiv Fernando with Infectious Disease reporting from New York on an update with the coronavirus 19. So some of the questions I've been getting, actually a lot of questions I've been getting are, can coronavirus infect your household pets? Now, we know Americans have about 84 million pets at home and it's close to their heart in the situation. Where did all of this start in the first place? We do know in Hong Kong a few months ago, they, they checked a dog and the dog was a asymptomatic carrier. What happened in New York at the Bronx Zoo last week was they noticed a tiger called Nadja was having signs and symptoms of fatigue and cough and subsequently infected six more uh, lions and tigers and they were found to be positive for COVID-19. What really happened over here, there was an asymptomatic human transmission. Remember, 30% of people with COVID-19 do not manifest any signs and symptoms, and that's what really happened here. So, so it's very important to stay with social distancing. So why are certain animals affected and certain not? Now, the coronavirus in human being binds to a surface protein called ACE2. And that's what happens. That's one of the important parts of its pathogenesis. In cats, they share the same ACE2, and that's how they bind to cat uh, protein surfaces and gets in and causes infection. Now, what we do know for sure are the good thing over here, it's not going from animals to humans. That's the most reassuring part right now. It's going from humans to animals. So thinking ahead, what are we going to be doing in these situations when your animals are sick? Uh, let's talk about the different animals. So for example, in dogs, I continue to maintain that dog infections are less. What happens in dogs, we've done some experiments out there uh, where they put an infected dog in a kennel with other dogs and check uh, the viral loads of the other dogs later on. They're still found to be negative. So in good shape with dogs. Cats, of course, is a different so uh, story. They're still spreading. What does this mean for us? So I think at this point, if your, do your cats are symptomatic, uh, you should talk to your veterinarian. Uh, there are tests available to check your cats, not ready for prime time yet, but talk to your veterinarian about this. Once again, no cat to human transmission, very important to know. And if you have a dog, you're in good shape, but uh, cats can be a problem, tigers can be a problem. Of course, we know uh, uh, there was a pet tiger in the Hangover series. I hope you're not in that situation. But thank you so much for joining me in New York. We'll see you tomorrow.